Hey guys, what is up? How you all doing? My name is Leo and you're watching the Argent Leo's Gaming Channel. Today we are playing Monster Hunter World and we are battling or hunting the Badath. This will be a solo hunt and when it comes to using the Insect Clave it doesn't really matter what armor you're using as um, you're going to be trying to stay up in the air with those leaping sorting attacks and you're going to be focusing on not missing your target. So once you're up in the air you're going to direction with your directional analog and you're going to press the O button once you are aligned with the monster and you're going to commit to that strike and once you connect it's going to throw you up into the air again and you're going to repeat step one. All Monster Hunter's attacks are quite complicated, the weapons are quite complicated but once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy from there. You'd actually wonder um, how you didn't get this right in the first place. And yeah, it's good for training your brain. Let's get right back into fighting the battle. What you are going to do is trying to stay out of the mud and watch his charges. Um, I hate when they roar because they just interfere with what you're doing right now. I hate it. He's getting ready to charge. With the insect clave, amazing. De best defense ever. And that is not being in the way of the behemoth when he's charging as you can easily leap up into the air, stand on his back, stay out of harm's way and just bounce around chipping away at his health. And this game does seem to reward um, aggression so the more attacks you constantly put on the, the monster the quicker he goes down, the quicker his lifeline is affected the bottom left hand side of the screen and with the insect clave it's easy, much easy to get onto the monster and then do your attack from uh, when you're mounting him. As you can see he's already groggy. Because I beat the snot out of him. And yeah, he's making a break for it. I'm just checking around to see if he's dropped, if I've knocked any parts off him. I just hate it when you knock the parts off the b off the monster and um, you don't have the time to go back and collect it. Tails, whatever you knock off him, rather pick it up when he runs away and uh, then catch up with him after that. What is he doing? Oh no, <laughs> okay that was X. X knocked him down. I was trying to uh, mine off his back there. Evidently it is possible, I haven't got it right as yet, but uh, I will try it again in my future battles. As during this one I did not try that again. And there's another monster. <laughs> uh, he's not happy with what we're doing. And he's getting involved, the bugger. Pookie. Pookie. You all run on. Play somewhere else. And the bandit is not happy with him. Okay, while well they're distracted, let me do some damage. And right now, this is like a was a three on one battle. Pookie has decided it's it, this is just too much going on, and he needs to get the heck out of here. Yo. It seems like the charge on all the monsters places the monsters in an indestructible um, situation where you just can't do them any damage. They're just unstoppable. 
Okay, actually not. Because if you've got a shield, you can actually block the charge. Give you guys examples of um, shield and sword play in one of my other videos. So do check out for those. And you, I need to use something to replenish <coughs> some of my hunter's health. This guy is exhausted. Shame. Bit of in irritation, the game mechanics where you gotta feed the guy all the time. You gotta, uh, in the middle of battle, you gotta replenish. Um, the health Well, okay, not so much the health. That's part of the game um, And I suppose the stamina is also a part of the game, but you you got to manage that as well during the the battles because um, During a hunt you can actually lose because he runs out of steam and can't get away out of um, Can't get out of the way of an attack And um, the Barrett actually prioritizing the <laughs> Pookie is not so much a threat as we are and decided to leave Pookie alone and um, concentrate on us he's quite agitated he almost seems enraged well actually he's enraged there's that red circle indicating that he is upset with us Okay, and these attacks going quite strong. That's a good run. It was quite a bit of damage with that one attack. Well, a series of attacks. And there the tail is falling. So, if we manage to drive him off right now, I'm going to pick up that tail. As I don't know how many battles I've had where the tails fall off. And I, I either lose the battle or I just don't have enough time to pick, to go back and find the tail and, and pick it up. So let's first see if we've knocked any pieces off the behemoth other than the tail. And then we're going to collect the tail and then run after him again. We've collected the tail, great stuff. Now we're gonna go after the Barret and um, for an injured creature he's managed to get quite far away from us There he is. And yep, he is not happy to see us. Oh, great stuff. Managed to mount him. Now we can chip away safely on his back. He's limping, his lifeline is quite low. And that doesn't mean that we cannot still lose the, the game because he can easily throw us off, ram, ram us twice and we're done for. And there we managed to stay long enough on his back to get our enraged attack. I'm picking up the same thing that was just on the floor the whole time so I didn't manage to mine him there I just thought I'd give it another try while he's on his back and he's trying to make it to the the marsh to the mud area and when he's in the water He's got the advantage because you slow down during your attacks. 
because of the, um, the mud and he's in his element because he is a mud monster and he's in his resting mode and we need to interrupt that because we don't want him to regenerate So with the insect clave, your defense is um, yep getting out of the way. And that mud proving to be quite a hindrance. We will try and stay above the waterline as much as possible. This attack it's working out quite well and to stay above the waterline for quite a while there and he's doing his thing where he's shaking that mud off trying to get you trapped And the Barrett is defeated. Great stuff. And we're just going to mine him for some parts and some material. And that is the Barrett attack. I hope this video was helpful. Please guys do like, subscribe and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Leo signing out for now. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.